All right, guys. So for this one, we're gonna be opening up this Rayquaza set. Picked this up today with the other ones from either earlier in this video or the previous video, depending on how I edit it. So, because the other ones were kind of long. It takes a while to get through these boxes. It's about 30 packs in here. So our goal today is to see if we can pull the alternate art. I think it's a Rayquaza VMAX. It's a really, really, really nice card. It's definitely the most expensive card in the set, but there's a couple other good cards in here. So I'll be happy with a couple things, but the goal is the Rayquaza VMAX. All right, so there's our first rare of the day. 14 more in there. I actually missed this set and one of the other the other set uh, the EV set and this one I missed while I I left Japan for a brief period for work so oh there is a Gyarados V Max the triple rare put that in our list or in our pile so we know we got 13 more in here. One thing I do miss about the English sets is the pack art. The, English, the Japanese pack art is always the same. I remember the English one had a couple different alternate pack arts. And some of them were really nice. We got Cloyster. And that's it for this pack. Um, I do like the fact that there's only five cards in here because in the uh, booster boxes with the 36 packs in the States, you ended up with a lot of commons. 36 with 10 in there, so you ended up with 360. And I don't remember if the energies were counted in those 10 or if that was an 11th card. I think during X and Y or Sun and Moon era, I think it was Sun and Moon era, that they included an energy. Because at one point there wasn't a lot of ways to get energy, so they added one random, I believe it was Sun and Moon, one random energy to the back of your pack to help you out, but then you just ended up with a lot of unnecessary energy. I have them stored away somewhere. There's the Rayquaza V. So we'll add that to the rare pile. That's, that makes three out of our 15. Let's see what we got in here. I saw this uh, side's a little bit shiny. Got our schoolboy. Plus one minimum. I'm not sure how I really felt about them. I never really Thought they were that interesting out of the Pikachu clones that they have every generation. It's probably one of my least favorites. I think Patrice is up there. Mm, a lot of people like Mimikyu, but I think it's okay. Definitely Patrice is up there. I'm trying to remember the other ones. We got Pichu, Plus Minum. I think that was Gen 4 was Patrice. Maybe it was Gen 5, I don't remember. Gen 5, I think, was Molga, if that counts. Let's see, yeah, this guy. I really like these, uh, also these um, alternate, like, Galar forms, like the regional forms. Um, Zinnia is pretty cool, too. The, uh, the full art is very nice. I pulled that out of a random lottery in, uh, in some of the stores here in Japan, they uh, have a lottery on the wall. So when you go to there, it'll have a number and you just ask them, it's it's a little envelope and it'll have a number on there and you pay a certain amount. Like let's say for example, $50. You pay $50 and you pick whatever number envelope you want. And then when you open it, hopefully there's a card in there that's worth over 50 or sometimes you'll have a couple cards in there that are worth less than 50. So it's like a gamble, but most of the time there's secret rares in there, or I think almost all of them are secret rares. It depends. They, they usually tell you what's in there. We got a Volcarona V. So they'll tell you what the chances are, and then of course the more money that you spend, the higher risk, or the higher, higher risk and higher reward. Um, I actually had good luck with that a couple times. Um, after this pack, I'll end up showing a card that I pulled from one of those. Where is it at? So, 
I forget her name in English, but the May ended up pulling this one, which I paid $100 and I just picked one. I think it was out of 50. And this was actually the top prize. I somehow got lucky enough to pull her. I didn't realize she was that much, but there's certain female trainers that are worth a lot in Japan that maybe they're not that, that popular. Like Marnie is worth a decent amount, maybe in America, but people in Japan love her. The card from SSV, Shiny Star V, is worth almost the same. I have another copy right here. This one, I actually ended up pulling two. I got pretty lucky. But yeah, people in Japan love those trainers. So if you ever go, if you ever come to Japan, go to a card shop, try your luck. They also have these like vending machine things where, oh, I got something. These vending machine, they're almost like vending machines, but uh, driven it. So they're almost like vending machines, but basically you just put a thousand yen, a thousand yen is about uh, $10, looks like this, a thousand yen. You put that in there. And, um, or sometimes it's more, it could be 2,000 yen, 3,000 yen, and then you press a button and a little, a little pack comes out, like a little cardboard box, and you open it, and it has different things, depending on the, depending on the shop. So, a lot of times they're like secret rares that aren't worth a lot, or sometimes you get some really nice secret rares. There's a lot of, uh, kind of gambling stuff that's going on there, but, um... If you need, if you don't want to buy sets because you already have a lot of common cards, but you want to try your luck with the secret rares, it usually is a really good way to fill out the cards that you're missing without having to pay for an entire box. Okay, so for this set, we got the Rainbow Schoolboy. Okay, I actually, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I have one of these from those, uh, that exact thing I was talking about, where you put some money in and you get a cardboard box. Let me see. So maybe in this pile right here. Somewhere in here. Schoolboy, schoolboy, schoolboy. Oh, yeah. I actually do. So that is another schoolboy, but I will welcome him to the family. The good thing about this being a rainbow card is it's possible to get a rainbow rare or a uh, hyper rare, I believe they call it, and get a secret rare in the same box. So it's still possible for us to get the secret rare. So we will keep going and see if we can get anything else. Oh! <laughs> like I said, it's still possible to get the secret rare and the rainbow rare in the same one which Zinnia this is definitely worth the box this is a really cool card and also like the other one I actually pulled this out of the one of those boxes uh where you pay a certain amount of money and they give it to you well I guess two trainers in one box let's see we'll pull him back out so I guess not a bad box at all. So he is going for quite a good amount. Well deserved. Put those two together. So I'll continue opening it. I might skip this part since, skip the rest of the video, since I don't think we're getting anything else. I don't even think it's possible to get anything else. Besides, of course, the triple rares like this Rayquaza, but I don't think anyone watches these videos for the triple rares. Anyway, it's all about the sweet secret rare. So, um, yeah, like I was saying, it's, it's not uncommon to, if you get a hyper rare first or a rainbow rare, to keep going and see a secret rare. I would say if you pull a hyper rare, from my experience, I've opened maybe around 50 or so boxes, that if you pull a hyper rare, I would say maybe a 50% chance or maybe a one in 
three chance of also pulling the secret rare. They, they usually come together. The Dragonite, which that's a nice artwork for Dragonite. Dragonite is such a cool Pokemon, but people always talk about his his evolution line because he does not fit. He does not fit to the Dragonair. I think I was watching the Pokemon Journeys in uh, the the newer anime, and um, they even made a joke about it in there. Talking about, uh, I don't remember the exact word. I watched it about a year ago, but there was an episode where they were, the Dragonair needed to evolve into Dragonite, I think, and uh, it evolved, and he was Go was confused on how he even uh, evolves into Dragonite. I think he made a joke about shouldn't he evolve into Gyarados, which is a definitely something that the fans of Pokemon think should have been, because Dragonite just does not fit. Dragonair at all. And it's shiny is just not good. Dragonair and Dratini's shinies are so nice. That pink color. That pink color is awesome, but that ugly puke green Dragonite. I don't know what they were thinking. The Trevenant. Going through these packs just to get them opened. Speaking of shiny Dratini, a couple years ago I was uh, chain fishing, trying to get a shiny Dratini, and it, this was I ended up finding one in X and Y, and it was my goal. It happened actually pretty quickly because chain fishing had some pretty good odds for um, for shinies. But during that time, I found it, and I didn't have a good team in X and Y for capturing shiny Pokemon. I was just chain fishing, and I ran into it pretty quick, so I wasn't prepared. So my Pokemon was too high of level, but I didn't have a false swipe or a whatever the other one is that doesn't kill them in one hit or doesn't faint them in one hit. And so I switched to a lower level Pokemon that was in my party, and... Which was a huge mistake. I should have just tried to throw a quick ball or something. But I switched to a lower level Pokemon. And I did not know that, that Dratini knew Dragon Tail. And the Dragon Tail, if you're, uh, if you're lower level than the wild Pokemon, Dragon Tail will end the battle automatically. So that shiny Dratini, there's Victini, um, the shiny Dratini actually ended up getting away from me. That was the only shiny I ever lost. And in my quest to redeem it, I found eight shiny Baskelin. I ended up killing the eighth one because I was tired of seeing shiny Baskelin. They're still stuck in my, uh, my Alpha, Sapphire, Alpha Sapphire, the Pokemon bank, or maybe Alpha Sapphire, one of those two. Still stuck in there. But I was so angry that I got the eighth. After eight shiny Basculin, and I just killed one just to say that I killed a shiny Pokemon. I think it depends on the version, but it was only like the red stripe or only the blue stripe, whichever one. So it's not like I could get one of each version because uh, it's it's version exclusive. Um, we're coming up on the last pack. Uh, shouldn't be anything in here. But... Yeah, looks like that's it for today. Hold the Rainbow Schoolboy and the Zinnia. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.